Alright guys, um, Justin here with another unboxing video. Uh, this time, it's the new hotness. Um, the Master Grade Ale Strike uh, Remaster, which I'm very excited about. Um, those of you that know me know that the, uh, the Ale Strike, well, the Strike um, is one of my favorite suits. Um, and the Ale Strike is, it's alright I guess. You don't really need the Ale Pack. Who needs that? Um, but, yeah. So, as soon as I heard there was a remaster for this and there was going to be some added details and stuff like that, I had to pick it up. So, I bought two, actually. Um, I'm sending the other one to my pen pal as a birthday present. Um, so, happy birthday, Teal. <laughs> um, but, I wanted to go ahead and shoot an unboxing, and this will actually be my next project. Um, so, uh, I'm wrapping up some stuff with the EZ8 right now, and, um, you know, a couple of... Uh, you know, a couple, I got like one or two more work in progress videos for that, but, um, you know, you guys will see that real soon, but until then, um, you know, since everything's snap built and stuff like that for the, uh, the EZ8, I'm going to go ahead and do an unboxing for this, and hopefully this weekend, um, after I get my first day off this week, um, I will, um, tear into this guy, and hopefully I'll be able to build him in a night or two, that way I can pull a review up and you guys can see what this guy, you know, what all there is to see about this guy. Um, but, let's go ahead and, and have a look at the box. Um, really awesome artwork here. Um, it really, I think, does the suit justice. And hopefully, it does the kit justice as well. Um, you know, I, I expect nothing less from a, a 2013 uh, kit. So... Um, I don't think Bandai will disappoint me. Um, as usual, on the top and bottom, you've got the same shots of the box. And like I said, this is a, a 2013 kit. If you will, this is, like I said, the new hotness. This just came out, um, and I got it last night. On the bottom of the box, you're going to get uh, some information about the Ale Strike and some front and back shots, a shot of the Ale Striker, and um, some armor Schneiders showing some armaments, some of the detail on the thrusters there. Um, where the, uh, the armor Schneiders go in the side skirts, and it looks like you get the little fin thing for the, uh, the perfect strike, and then here's the armaments, you get the gun, uh, the shield, two Schneiders, and two beam sabers. Um, looks like the fins can go up a little bit, so on some of the under detail, uh, the fins actually move, which is really neat, so that'll be really cool for some dynamic posing and stuff. Um, some more gimmicks here, you've got a really nice, uh, looking like a nice shoulder joint, and some, uh, inner detail in the the waist area. Uh, lots of markings and stuff. You get two separate pilot figures that you can put inside and there's a movable joint on the um, on the waist itself and a nice double bend there. So really excited to see how that works. Um, and on the other side you get some stuff about the uh, Gundam Seed HD remaster and a manga. Um, and it might come with a comic or something. Um, the Ale Strike Gundam uh, you know, just another shot of it flying off the, uh, the little base here that it actually comes with. Um, and then some some box art. And then it kind of shows the, uh, oh, let's see if I can remember all these names. Um, there's the Ale Strike, the, the uh, Buster, Buster, the, uh, the Blitz, um, the Assault Shroud, uh, Dual Gundam, and I can't remember this one's name. But, uh, yeah, so you get to see all those, and I think that... Uh, you know, this the biggest reason this came out is because this is uh, the strike was an older kit, and these guys had been updated since because uh, they just had one 100 no grades. So it's nice to see that uh, we're getting a nice uh, proper uh, release for all these guys. So um, now that I'm done talking about the box, oh yeah, one more thing. There's nothing on the bottom, as I forget every once in a while. Um, so. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy open, and we've got a pretty interesting layout here. Um, this is a really big box. I didn't expect it to be this big. I actually thought it would be one of the thick boxes, but I guess I was wrong. Um, so first up, you're going to get your A plate. Got a nice line of red, some blues, some whites, and some clear pieces down here in the corner. And you've got your beam sabers in here. But on your A plate, you're going to have all the yellow pieces uh, for the shield, um, some vents for the uh, the ail pack and for the V-fin, and I don't think there's any actual yellow on the kit outside the V-fin, so that's nice. All the head sculpt, it looks like it's going to be one of those newer head sculpts where it's not like two pieces sandwiched together and you got to remove the seam line, so that'll be really nice looking straight out of the box. 
uh, some skirts, uh, the front piece for the, uh, the waist section, the actual V-fin here, um, if I can get this out of the way, um, the mouthpiece, the mohawk, um, and this has actually got a clear piece uh, slotted out of it, so that's going to be really cool to see. Um, the clear pieces, you're going to get the camera piece separate from the, the, uh, the eyes, which I've never seen before. Um, the gun camera, and then here's your pilot standing and sitting. And as for your blue pieces, uh, this I believe is all the blue pieces on the kit, and that's just the, the torso area, so all the cockpit stuff is right here, there's the chest, the back, some sides, stuff like that. Alright, your next bag, um, I'll just keep going down the line, um, you're going to get, uh, where's it at? I see G. Oh, here it is. B, which is uh, white. It's the shield, the thighs. Um, looking like, I don't know what these are. That's weird. Um, and very nice, the armor schneiders actually appear to come separate, but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Uh, these look like feet. The top of the feet. Hand guards. And on the back, you've got that little spine thing I was talking about. This is your G plate, by the way. Um, more feet. Um, bits and bobs here and there. Uh, shoulders, uh, these are the little uh, pieces inside the shoulders. Like I said, the Schneiders have uh, separate pieces, so that's going to be really cool to, to paint. I won't have to worry about masking off around uh, pre-assembled armor Schneiders. So, <clears throat> excuse me. The beam sabers, and uh, yeah, so that's G and B. Next, we have, um, this is looking like all frame material. This is all that, that, uh, new frame material, the ABS. Um, very nicely detailed cockpit area, so I'm going to be painting this, uh, definitely. Um, here's the leg joints, the, the inner mechanism of it, and then here's the outer mechanism. These look like knees right here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, probably shoulder joints, ankle joints, uh, upper thighs maybe, um, bottoms of the feet, and these are the actual calves and stuff like that. And that's your E-runner. Um, various other little pegs and stuff, so all the joints and stuff in this kit. And this is your J runner, which is curiously enough, uh, it's like a black almost. Um, lots of pieces for the the actual stand, so this thing is going to be big. And there's actually a really like a long arm here, so uh, I'm guessing that this thing is going to be able to stand pretty tall on its own. Uh, next we have. Uh, C, which is a very small runner of red pieces, that's the feet, the, uh, the waist, and the outer parts of the shield, which I believe is all the actual red on the mobile suit itself, um, if you don't count the ale pack. There's a nice sheet of uh, polycaps behind that, and if you flip it over, there's some more ABS, so here's more details for the, the frame, um, some vents, uh, more joints and stuff like that. Here's the inner frame detail for the shoulders, the outer pieces that pop up. Um, I don't know what that is, uh, but just, you know, more frame stuff, mostly, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, then you've got, uh, a D runner, which is, again, more frame stuff, uh, there's like a collar here, uh, action base connector, really small pieces right here, I don't know what these are, um, and the hands look like they're going to be uh, the same style as the Endless Waltz uh, wing kits, where they it's the hand and then you just kind of pop the, the manipulators on. So, I mean, not my favorite thing in the world, but it works. Um, yeah, more, more joint shield stuff right here. Um, and on the other side, uh, you know, same ankle stuff. This is where the actual detail is. The other stuff is just the joints, but this is your actual detailed pieces. So, this is going to cover or house all those uh, various mechanisms. Really nice to see. Um, next, you've got your H plate, which is the remainder of the reds. So, all the stuff for the, the L strike pack, or the L pack, um, as well as your eyepiece and your uh, forehead uh, thing for the, um, for the V fin. And some more chest pieces, stuff like that. Um, and then, like I said, vents for the, the ale pack, the wings, uh, various details for that. And finally, an L runner, which is amazingly sculpted. I'm really happy about this, actually. Um, bottom, or 
under detail for the, uh, the skirts. So if you uh, want to go ahead and paint these, you know, that's even more possibilities um, to bring out some detail. And I really appreciate when, when Bandai does stuff like that. Um, the gun, the engines, those are going to be fun to paint. Um, and then that spine thing I was talking about again, I'm not really sure what that is. Um, and then before I get into the manual and stuff like that, there's the, uh, the actual base. So I'm not sure how I'm going to paint this. I'm going to paint it, I just don't know how yet. So that's going to be fun to mess with. Um, down here at the bottom you've got an advertisement for the Wings of Light for the uh, RG Destiny. Um, if it's a Bandai Hobby Shop, or online shop exclusive, which kind of sucks for us in America. But there it is. And then on the other side it's the uh, the online Hobby Shop exclusive again. It's the, uh, the Sword and Launcher Pack, which I don't really care about, but it sucks that, again, that we can't get it, because I know there's people out there that want it, and uh, it's a shame that Bandai won't bring stuff like this to us. Someday, we'll see. And then here's this little QR code, so if you guys want to watch this in HD and kind of see what this is, I have no idea, so go ahead and... There you go. You can pause the video and do that, but there's a thing for a thing. So, there you go. And, finally, the instruction manual, which has got an awesome shot of the L, uh, the L strike, um, which I might actually, you know, maybe I'll take the time to draw this or something, because I really enjoy this, this suit. Um, lots of really nice detail in this, really nice drawing, um, I love it. Um, when you open it up, you're going to get a lot of, uh, it's the story guide here, and information about the pilot, various suits, and various events through, I guess, uh, where this guy came from and stuff like that. And then it's kind of like a quick assembly guide showing you how you should cut stuff from runners and all that good stuff. You guys know how this works. Um, your parts layout, what you're going to use, what you're not going to use. And then you're going to go straight into construction. So you start with the body, um, go ahead and tear it through that, um, move on to the head, and then your arms, then the waist, and finally the legs, and that is the Strike Gundam. Um, then there's a nice spread showing off uh, some line art. Um, you know, some action poses, some posed up with the, uh, there's the buster in the back, and the, the, uh, perfect strike, more of that detail I was talking about, showing some stuff with the, with the base, and then more, uh, seed remaster and, um, the manga, so really nice shots there, and then it finishes up the construction of the legs, and then the final construction of the suit, shows the action base connector there, and then you get your weapons, uh, which my favorite part of this, the strike is that you don't really have to build the weapons to have a really cool looking Gundam. Um, it's really cool looking bare bones. So, um, but you do the beam rifle, the shield, um, the Schneiders, and then finally the striker pack. And then there's uh, a small bit on the actual construction of the uh, the hanger, and then you put that wire on there, which I forgot to actually mention was in the bag. <laughs> um, and then uh, how to attach it, how to put the perfect thing on there. Um, which you need to attach the uh, the launcher and sword pack. And then a decal guide, which uh, to my dismay was not water slides, but um, I think I can I think I can deal. Maybe I'll I'll get some aftermarket decals or something. Um, we'll see. But yeah, really nice decal guide. And I guess since I did mention the decals, I didn't actually talk about them while I was going through the package, but um, looking like a sheet of stickers, kind of like the RG style, um, that kind of sticker, and the dry transfers, um, which I loathe, but I might use them because I want to use as much as I can on this guy, and then the, uh, the foil stickers, which is just going to be your eyes and your cameras, so really neat there, and the, uh, where's that cord at? There it is. Really, really thick, too thick, uh, like, rubber plastic cords. So that's really neat. Um, and I'm really excited to, to get into this guy and start building it because um, I love the, the RG version of the kit. It was really nice. It was beautiful. It's such a small scale. And uh, being able to have a big master grade, it's not like 3.0 good, but, um, you know, just the fact that I'll be able to have a really nice looking strike on my shelf now. Um, really means a lot to me so I really can't wait to tear into this guy and show you guys what I can do and like I said this will be my next work in progress series 
Um, so I guess after I do a review, you guys can look forward to seeing uh, some, some paint videos. So uh, I've already got some ideas for what I want to do with this guy, and I hope you guys uh, look forward to watching, and, and uh, you know, thanks again. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.